how to add a Pear Deck add-on to your Google Slides. So the first thing you're going to do is if you open up a slides presentation, this is the one that I want to add interactivity to, uh, I need to make sure that I have the add-on. To do that, I'm going to go up where it says add-ons and notice nothing says Pear Deck here. So I need to go get it. I'm going to get add-ons and it's going to bring up a menu. Thankfully, Pear Deck shows up in the top right for me, but if it didn't, I would just go up into the search bar and search for it. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click install and then it's going to ask for my firstborn child and I am just going to go, sure, no problem. You got it. I trust you. It's a good thing I have a firstborn child. And it shows me right here where I can find that add-on. I'm going to click done and then I'm going to close out of the add-ons. Because I just put this add-on into Google Slides, it opens it automatically on the right for me. But normally, when I open a Google Slides presentation, it looks more like this. So if I want to add interactivity, I need to go and open up the Pear Deck add-on. So back to add-ons I go. And now you see that Pear Deck is there. I'm going to click Open Pear Deck Add-on. And then it's going to open up here on the side for me. Now, this is where I can add in some interactivity. The students are watching this the same time I am on their own screens. So they're able to participate with me. So for example, if I want to do uh, uh, a starter, I want to activate the kids' prior knowledge or just kind of get a gauge of what they know, I might turn this slide into a question. So I'm going to click ABC. I want this one to be a text question. And it is going to transform this into a question slide. So now when the kids see it, there'll be a box on the side that they can type in and give me their thoughts. Notice I have the question on the slide already. Okay, It just turned this slide into a question slide. And as I go through the slides, I, the second one, I have the answer for them. But then we get to something like this. We've talked about gears, how they interlock, how they go in opposite directions. I want to turn this into a drawing slide because I want to see if they understand that the two gears are going to go in separate directions, opposite directions. So now I'm going to click draw. And it's going to turn it into a draw. Now they have a pencil, they can type. And down here it says based on the direction, draw arrows showing the direction of the other gears. In this case, there's just one, but I have multiple in here. All right, cool, right? So I have those types of things. There's also other things I can add in. I could add in like multiple choice. The draggable slides, like if I want to do a um, temperature check to see how kids are doing. So maybe after all of uh, the drawing slides that I have, I say, mm, I'm gonna, well, I want to do a temperature check here. This one, and see how, uh, see how they're doing. Well, there's some templates here as well. I'm gonna go into this template library, and I'm gonna go into a during lesson. And there are different ones here. And one of them is a temperature check. There used to be a temperature check. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, describe how you're feeling. So I'm going to click that. And that's going to add in, I believe, after. If not, I'll just drag it down after. But it's going to put that slide in there. Keep going, I understand. I'm a little confused, stop, I need some help. So this is a good stopping point in the middle of the lesson for me to add this in for the kids so I can get that information really, really quickly. And then let's say that uh, we keep going. Um, what's nice about this one also is that I get to see the kids' names. So I know exactly which kids clicked, I'm a little confused, or stop, I need help. Uh, and let's say we you know the lesson's going on, it's going on, uh, and let's say that our stopping point is right here for today. Unfortunately, we ran out of time, um, so I want to add in uh, a slide. I can also add in an end of lesson slide. 
So I'm going to go into end of lesson. And there's one on here that I really like. Pretend your friend was absent from class today. It's a nice way to have them kind of recap and summarize what they learned, what they thought they learned, um, any misconceptions I'll be able to see right away, but it gives them a purpose. So hopefully they'll be a little more, uh, they'll have uh, more details. So we actually could possibly give some of these to students who are absent. So those are some of the different slides that you can add in. You can turn existing slides into interactive ones. There are lots of different templates for critical thinking, social emotional learning, um, littles math, science, social studies. So there's a whole bunch of different things. So social studies, we've got cause and effect, factor opinion, what kind of source is this? So there's all sorts of different, a chronology that you can add in, uh, map, drawing slide, uh, find place on Google Earth. So all sorts of different types of content area slides that are already available. So that in a nutshell is what we're going to be learning today in our 20 minute takeaway. Hopefully this is a good reinforcement for you uh, enjoy.